Dear ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, welcome to the final day of the 39th European Championships in Rhythmic Gymnastics. Yarışlarımıza başlayırıq. Fərdi gimnastların halqı ilə final yarışlarını izləyəcəyik. We start with individual finals with hoop. Please welcome the finalists. It's time for the hoop competition to get us started. Zöhre Agamirova, Azerbaijan. First of all, it will be Azerbaijan. Zora Agamirova, sixth strongest qualifier. Adi then Boriana Kalein, the all-around champion from Bulgaria. Fanny Adi Katz Pignitsky. from Israel, Hanoi. fifth strongest in qualification. Victoria Fanny Pignitsky from Hungary, fourth best in qualifying. Safia Top qualifier, Rafael. Ukraine, Victoria Onoprienko. Eighth best Siliana in qualification, Nikola. but the world and European Bulgaria. champion, Sofia Raffaelli. Liliana Nikolova, Polina the all-around bronze medalist, Spain. and Spain's Polina Berezina. Thank you, finalists. The we seventh best in qualification. The finalists in the hoop competition, the top in qualification was Victoria Onoprienko of Ukraine. However, she was eight tenths down from that in yesterday's all-around final. Meanwhile, Sofia Raffaelli, the eighth strongest in qualification, the world and European champion, was almost two marks up from that yesterday. Avropa Çempiyonatı son gününde de bizimle olduğunuz için size teşekkür ederiz. Yarışlarımız bilinç ölçüde canlı yayınlanır. Ona göre desteğinizi bütün Avropa izleyin. Ez dostlar, halkı ile finallarda ilk iştirak eden finalçı Mez Zöhre olacak. Azerbaycan gimnastı. Desteğimiz her bir sektörde çok önemlidir. Thanks to Fatima and Hanan, the arena presenters. Halgele final yarışlarında ilk finalçı iştirak edeceği devlet olacak halçı. Mez bizim gimnastımız, İslam oyunları galibi, dünya şefiyatının finalçısı Ali Poğlan'ın iştirakçısı olan Zöhre. Aziz dostlar, qeyd et ki, bugün Zöhre daha diğer iki finalda da iştirak edir və bu möhtəşəm milli gimnastik aynasında bütün bayraqlar dalgalansın dostlar çünki dəstəyiniz çox önəmlidir ötən gün dəstəyinizlə qrup əqətləri komandamız bürünc medal qazandı yarışların ilk günündə gənclərdə ibarət qrup əqətləri komandamız iki bürünc qazanmışdı bugün növbəti medalımızı qazana bilərik əgər əgər siz dəstək olsanız Bu dəstəyimiz lazımdır ki, bizim gimnastlarımız daha da güclənsin, bütün Avropa dəstəyinizi hiss etsin. Çünki bu arena sizin aranızdır. Əziz dostlar, xalışa nəvət olunur, Zöhrə Aramirova Azərbaycan! Now that's what you call a rousing introduction for the first competitor. Who else but Baku's finest? The best of fortune to Zora Agaminova of Azerbaijan. Seventh in the all-around competition. The sixth best in qualification here with a score of 32.15. But in the all-around final, 29.65. She lost the hoop right at the end.
starting the day off Azerbaijan Zora Agaminova no gymnast Zora Agaminova Azerbaijan at the European Championship really good start this very very promising from Zora Agaminova the crowd absolutely adores this routine and this week in Baku she has looked more focused and more intense in delivering these performances than maybe she ever has before. This was no exception. The turning split leaps, passing the hoop under her legs, all of that was really nice to execute it. There was the mistake in the all-around final with the hoop. Ve de bir sayfa verdi de Fücan'ı gözleyecek. Final yarışlarında sekiz güçlü gimnast strike edir. Ve her biri medal olduğunda bir bariz yaparız. Özgürtler hürmetli finallarında bizim gimnastlar çıkacak. Ve onları da bakkıyla güçlü destek olmalıdır. Gideki bu yıl Vite Çempiyatı'nın son günüdü ve bugün She's always had such a reputation as a quiet, focused, industrious gymnast. She's a true performer. In her personal life, she says, I prefer to listen and not to talk so much. But you put her on a stage, and she's just luminous. I think that's really well put. And for a gymnast who, at the World Championships in this arena in 2019, had such problems with the hoop right at the beginning of her qualification campaign, how lovely that this is the display she's produced in the final. Now, how close can she get to her top score? This certainly looks stronger than the all-around final. There's no doubt, I think, really about that. Was it quite as strong as the uh, preliminary round? We shall see. Nice, powerful, unsighted catch behind the back, across the uh, scapula. And she adds another turning split leap. This one, she arches her head back, goes into the ring position. A nice demonstration there in the slow motion of the classical Tour Chine de Boulay from ballet. And it's important to note also that she catches the hoop in the middle of a rotation and the hoop passes through her body on the catch. All of those things add a little bit of zest to the difficulty score. Üç medal kazanıp, üç büyük medal kibaslarımızın aktivindedir. Her difficulty score in qualification was 16. Aynanımızda çoğlu sayıda azarkeş ve kibaslarımızın wild gameleri de var. Eyni zamanda tanımış idmançılar da bizim Avropa Çöpiyatı təhlükçilər bizə dəstək olur. Zöhrə və məhkəyiz deyirik. Dəstəyimizi bir daha alqışlandı bu aşıq direkt komanda və gündastımıza. The shortest walk to work of anybody at these championships, really, because of her time spent living in the boarding facilities in the excellently equipped National Gymnastics Arena. For six years, she lived here with her parents and two younger siblings coming and visiting every Sunday. Didn't get to see them very often at all. Four times we've seen her at world championship level five times actually at world championship level this her sixth european championships the second in baku she's competed at the olympic games where she placed 18 after the is now on the hospital score is 31.1 difficulty of 15.1 which is Nine tenths lower than qualification. It will be interesting to see if 
The uh, Azerbaijan delegation issues a challenge to that. Representing Bulgaria, Boriana Kalin. On the subject of people who issue challenges, here's one who threw down the gauntlet to Europe yesterday. There is your champion from the all-around competition. Bulgaria's Boriana Kalin, the all-around gold medalist, second strongest in qualification, 33.45, only two tenths down in the apparatus final. Very consistent here. Bulgaria is going to make a very good case today to take the hoop title with one of its two gymnasts. And if it does, it will be the first time since the year that the Olympic Games were held in Seoul. And if indeed one of Bulgaria's two gymnasts does win this title, what a performance it will have been. This was a very good start from Boriana Kalin, who has looked so renewed throughout these European Championships. She didn't have the best start to the year. She went to the World Cup in Athens and didn't quite look herself coming off of the illness that she suffered in the fall that kept her out of the World Championships in Sofia. And she actually had to take a few weeks off after that World Cup and then recommitted herself to her training. And this is the result. And it's been terrific. She has looked cool and calm. And she has delivered the kind of performances that we always knew she was capable of. She's always been known for her exceptional pivots, but the dynamic elements of rotation like this, where she executes three forward rolls before the unsighted catch of the hoop with her feet, are very important too, because it gives her a lot of difficulty. Anytime we see a gymnast doing three or more rotations under the flight of an apparatus, you know that you've got a contender. And the difficulty score in qualification was 17.2, the joint highest difficulty score of any of the qualifiers. For Boriana Callen, it's 32.25. She goes into the gold medal position. It is a drop of 1.2 from qualification and one from the all-around final. So far, then, in this hoop final, the trend is for lower scores compared to the preliminary rounds. From Israel. Tenth in the all-around competition, Adi Azia Katz. Twice 
a European Championship bronze medalist last year. Don't ever be surprised when Adi Katz is a contender. Now, what will be interesting is to look at the end of that routine and how close that hoop was to actually being over the line. The line is in. However, if she is out of bounds with the hoop, she will lose three tenths of a point in execution deductions. The routine at large was so crisply performed. There was a kind of aggressive elegance to it. She is so quick and she is razor sharp, especially in her balances. Look at that beautiful front scale and she holds it for such a long time. The requirement for gymnasts is to hold those balances for one second. She looks like she could stay up there for a minute if that's what was required. And really beautiful flexibility on the planche pivots as well. I think that's a wonderful term, but aggressive elegance. I think it absolutely describes the work of Addy Katz. And there's a lot of really deceptive difficulty. For example, that turning split leap where her head went back and the hoop passed through her body. That's one of the most difficult things that she does in this exercise. As a single element. And it just blends in to everything that she's doing. The dance, once again, a balance with trunk at horizontal, the head back. It's so hard to hold that, and she's utterly mastered it. She is, after all, last year's World Challenge Cup champion with the hoop, which demonstrates real consistency over the whole season. Really does accentuate the control she has in those attitude derriere spins. And three forward rolls under the flight of the hoop. Just say though, once again, at the conclusion of the routine, she seemed very close to the line. You know what, as we look back at this, the difficulty is very compelling. Now, her difficulty in qualification was 16.4, and you just wonder if actually she might be going well beyond that here. And the apparatus final is a place where if you are going to pull out an extra stop or two, this is the routine to do it with. This for for Adi Asia Katz from Israel in 32.6. Please welcome Fanny Pignisky. The score, 32.6 with a 0.35 penalty for Adi Asia Katz. Difficulty 17, though, up 
by six tenths from qualification. So she's in the gold medal position at the moment. Now to Fanny Pignitsky from Hungary, the bronze medalist with the hoop at the World Games in Alabama last year. Fourth best in qualification with 32.25. Great routine this. Rhythmic gymnast and performance artist now, Fanny Pignitsky of Hungary. The metamorphosis has been Fanny a delight. Fanny Hungary! She's so technically skillful. Added to that, great athleticism, consistency, and now this performative quality. It's a wonderful performance. Performance being the uh, key word in this. You feel like you are in one of the grand theaters in Budapest watching perhaps a performance of contemporary dance. She can do any style, but this is a very avant-garde routine. The lyrics spoken, that's been a trend in rhythmic gymnastics over the past few years. Really beautiful leaps as well. The switch stag. The hoop is always moving and she chooses a really varied range of skills. The illusion turns the sequence that we see a lot, but we also saw a butterfly, a nice dynamic balance. Fanny Pignitsky in qualification scored 32.25. She wasn't quite at that level in the all-around competition where she finished 16, and the score was 30.85. So it will be interesting to see where this falls with the other two barometers that we've been given so far. There are one or two places where on the front scale balances, she perhaps doesn't quite hold them for a second as is required. are small deductions. Thirty-one point seven for Fanny Pignitsky. Seven point seven for execution. She goes into the bronze medal position. At the moment, Adi Katz is leading the way at the halfway mark. Now we see the top performer in qualification, Victoria Onoprienko of Ukraine, 33.65.
Well, in qualification, Victoria Onoprienko absolutely took the ball by the horn. She was the finest. How will this compare? Can she get onto the podium? Choreographically, it is brilliant because there is so much that alludes to uh, the imagery of bullfighting. And from a difficulty standpoint, it is very well constructed. It's such an intelligent routine because she manages to do difficulty and you're right, at the same time, create the impression of a Toreador who is in the middle of the ring. One of her great characteristics has always been the ability to really get the head back as she leaps and to put height, real aggression and attack into her grand jetés. She's really got it all. There's the flexibility and there's the cool headedness coordination required to execute these huge throws and catches. Do the necessary, the split leap in ring, and then the unsighted catch behind her back. The more one looks at this, the better the execution gets, you know. This is really impressive. The pure ballet at the heart of this is masterful. So is the score. 33.25. Victoria Onoprienko has gone into the gold medal position. The last gymnast from her nation to win the title was Anna Besonova in 2003. And she also was the last to get onto the podium. That was a bronze in 2009. Guess where? Baku. Sofia Raffaelli of Italy, though, might have something to say about that. She is the reigning European and world champion with the hoop. 31.9 in qualification, eighth best, but 33.8 in the final. Very interesting. The all-around silver medalist, Sofia Raffaelli of Italy. As we were just saying at the start, 33.8 in the all-around final. But that was at the exact moment where she seemed to have almost a middle ground between what happened in qualification, which was losing that first launch of the apparatus, and in the all-around final, which was getting it spot on. Here it seemed to be something in between, Blythe. Yes, it did, and it's interesting to see it again in the final, she does not get the kick that she really needs to get the hoop quite high in the air as she was hoping. Now, she reacts very quickly, manages to grab the hoop, and she minimizes the deduction that she would have gotten had she lost it completely. However, it's going to impact her difficulty and it's gonna impact her execution a bit as well. 
And then it's so difficult when you have an error at the beginning of the routine because often as a gymnast, you can't help but think about it. And you're going through your routine and you're going, oh, I can't believe that I messed up at the beginning. But she did a good job of refocusing. There was one other small bobble later on. But for the most part, a really nice recovery here. She has so much to get through. It's such a hard routine to execute well. It will be interesting when you think about the fact that she missed that first element completely in qualification and picked up a score below 32. She picked up a score of almost 34 when she got it spot on in the uh, all-around final. Everything else around it seemed much of a muchness. So we will now have to assess whether she falls somewhere in the middle of that, perhaps, and whether she gets the difficulty credit that she was going for. It's an element that has given her some problems on the World Cup scene as well, although those problems have tended to come with the ball, but on a similar element, a throw from the league. 32.05 for Sofia Raffaelli. Fourth position. It was higher than in qualification, but not by much. So that means that uh, as things currently stand, we have got Onoprienko, followed by Katz, followed by Kalein, with 32.25, the number required to get onto the podium. Now to a gymnast who produced in qualification 32.85, but in the all-around final, 34.7, bronze medalist Liana Nikolova. <laughs> Quasi quasi all'infinito Ti dico mamma She could not have given more to her pursuit of the all-around title yesterday. Stiliana Nikolova, who won the bronze medal for the second consecutive competition, and it just didn't quite happen to anything like the level she was aiming for here when she was so good yesterday. She has such technical prowess, and most of the time, her skills I mean, they don't just look good, they look nearly flawless. And when you do that, it just throws the errors into sharper relief. She was a bit off throughout the routine, but nonetheless, she really puts on a gorgeous performance. Her side scale pivot, one of the very best in the world. beautiful open quality to her illusion turns. She will have other chances today. She 
is still such a young athlete. She still has this enormous career ahead of her. We have the score for Juliana with two. 28.7 for Stiliana Nikolova. I can tell you that that means that having won a team silver medal yesterday, Victoria Onoprienka is guaranteed at least a silver medal here with just one gymnast to come. We have now a gymnast who scored 32.3 in the all-around final yesterday with this routine. If she gets that now, She'll win the bronze medal. This is Paulina Berezina of Spain. And this is a wonderful way to conclude the hoop final. It is a beautiful routine. And it's clever too. Errors to one side. It is such a terrific piece of rhythmic gymnastics theatre. From Polina Berezina of Spain, her time will come. She will be at the World Championships in Valencia. Just a shake of the head from the 25-year-old as she departs. And it really goes to show, doesn't it, how although most of the time these routines look so effortless, how much work and will really goes into making them that way. For Paulina Berezina, this was not her day, but as you said, she has time. The World Championships are coming up in her country. And this is an experience that she can take and use to make herself even better. This was the place where it began to go wrong. She had a trajectory error and nearly puts a toe out of bounds. And if indeed she did go out of bounds, the deduction will be 0.3, but the trajectory error will be at least that. As things stand, it is Boriana Kalein, the bronze medalist from last year in third place. Adi Katz in second place and Victoria Onoprienka leading the way and looking, one imagines, set to take the European title.
such a popular gymnast, Polina Berezina. She was eighth in the all-around competition. And if anyone has illustrated that there's always one more opportunity, if you work for it, it's Polina Berezina. Just remind ourselves, 30 World Cups she competed at before she took a bronze with a hoop in Athens at the start of the year. A master at playing the long game. 28.65 for Polina Berezina, that has her in eighth position, and it means that Victoria Onoprienko of Ukraine has just won her first major international title. The 19-year-old has taken the gold medal in Baku. Victoria Onoprienko, who has lost family members defending their country, has just proven her toughness, her indefatigability and her brilliance, for she is the champion of the continent. The silver medal goes to Adi Katz of Israel and the bronze to Doriana Calais of Bulgaria. It has been a year for Victoria Onoprienko that simply virtually none of us can ever imagine, can ever contemplate. When we talk about people having suffered, having endured tragedy, having endured heartbreak, even those words are not strong enough to voice what she has been through. Tough as anything, and a worthy champion of Europe. Let's have a look at your medalist and how the title was won. Oriana Calais taking the bronze. The silver to Adi Katz of Israel, that's her best ever finish at the European Championships. Huge congratulations to her. Champion of Ukraine. And that was just the well, first final. The now, the ball competition. Victoria Onoprienko, by the way, is in every single one of the finals. So she's got no time to celebrate at all. Daria Varfolomeyev, Germany. Germany's Daria Varfolomeyev will be first to go in the ball Anthony. final, second best in qualifying, sixth best World Sofia Games medalist, Fanny Pignitsky. Sofia Raffaelli of Italy, the reigning Siana champion of the world. Bulgaria. Bulgaria still Nikolova, Azerbaijan. Qualifier, Azerbaijan, Zora Agamirova. The uh, fifth best in qualifying, the gymnast who's just won the title with Gloriana the hoop, Victoria Onoprienko. Grecia's Panayota Litra, seventh best in qualifying. You, and Boriana Kalain of Bulgaria. The gymnast who won the European title last year. She'll be last to go. The contenders for the ball competition at the European Championships in Baku. The top performer in qualifications, Diliana Nikolova of Bulgaria. And she was even better in the all-around final. But we have got the reigning champion of Europe there as well, Boriana Kalain. She will be the last to go.
very interesting final because we start with the second best in qualification. Right at the halfway point, we'll have just seen the top qualifier and the last gymnast will be the third highest qualifier. Just a word on Victoria Norpienko's victory with the hope, the first title for her nation in that event for 20 years, following in the footsteps of Anna Besanova. To get us underway, one is Guaranteed an exuberant belt of a routine from Daria Varfolomeev, the second best in qualification, 33.65. Daria Varfolomeev gets the ball final underway. The silver medalist from the last Daria World Varfolomeev. Championships. Germany. And the bronze medalist in Tel Aviv at the European Championships last year. It is a difficulty heavy display this because of so many unsighted catches of the apparatus. She works with the ball out of sight a lot. And her intelligent combinations as well. This first sequence where she turns the ball in her hand while hitting these turning split leaps in ring position. And then she combines it with a throw at the end of the combination, turning it into a dynamic element with rotation. She executes two turns, and then she rebounds the ball off of her body during a cartwheel. It is such a luxurious combination, and the difficulty that it gets her is immense. Something she's really good at is finishing her pivot in correct positions. And she's almost slow. She gives you time to savor the fact that she has just done, for example, an extraordinary penché turn. And the difficulty in this exercise earlier in this competition, 17.2, that's the second highest that we will see in this final, most likely. And she also had the best execution too. Fantastic split position in the penche. And look at the finish once again. So calm and clean, passing through the arabesque. The score 
for Daria Bartolome from Germany is 32.65. 32.65 for Daria Bartolome. So the difficulty down by eight tenths of a mark from qualification. She scored at 33.55, just a tenth lower than qualification in yesterday's all round final. So that's some way down. Hungary's Fanny Pignitsky, sixth best in qualification, the bronze medalist from the World Games last year. Over the course of the last year, Fanny Pignitsky has repeatedly produced the best ever performance by a Fanny Hungarian Pignitsky. gymnast Hungary. in insert competition here because she keeps breaking records. And she's got four very distinctly different and successful routines. Certainly, hoop and ball is where she really does excel. This is nicely choreographed. Also, it's got some good technical precision in it. Here is one example of this. The front walkover, throw the beginning of the dynamic element with rotation, and then she executes two turns under the trajectory of the ball, catches it with one hand, and goes straight into a back walkover. Lovely stuff. She's also chosen to combine a turning leap with a throw, a one-handed catch that fulfills the requirement in the exercise. And compared to her routine with the hoop earlier, she hits the balance position better this time. Maybe a small correction that was made in conferring with her coach potentially after routine one. Nice sense of smoothness to the roll of the ball. Really important that it doesn't bobble its way across the shoulders and the arms. Rolling the ball over two large body segments gets the gymnast four tenths of a point in difficulty. So this sequence is also very important for her. Certainly, this looks more like the routine that we saw from her in the qualification round rather than in the all-around final where she was below 30. 31.4 is the score for Fanny Pignitsky. And that is only three tenths down from her performance in qualification. So very good display.
the reigning world champion. A silver medalist in the all-around competition yesterday, Sofia Raffaelli of Italy. Her qualification score, the fourth best, 33, but her all-around score, 31.9. There have been some issues here and there with this routine, and it is beautiful. Gira il mondo, gira nelle spazi senza fine, con gli amori appena nati e gli amori già finiti, con la gioia e col dolore della gente come me. One can only imagine the expectations of this young gymnast after her remarkable world championships, winning five gold medals. Now she comes to every competition with the world expecting her to be victorious. It is a lot of pressure to take. This routine is full of exceptional difficulty. Fair to say there are a few moments here and there where things won't quite hit as sharply as they have been in the past. The deductions, and yes they are there, are really subtle. And this routine is so beautiful. It's so easy to get lost in just the performance that she gives. This is her own element, the side scale with the free leg bent. It caused a sensation when she started performing it. And it's one of her hallmarks. Now the little issues here and there, it is still going to be a very compelling number produced. There's no question of that. Yes. And this is a very nice example of the type of difficulty that Sofia Raffaelli does so well. An unsighted catch, changing level, and she just works so seamlessly. In this routine, there was one place where she seemed to have a bit of trouble actually extricating the ball from under her body. That will be a slight execution deduction. And some of her positions, particularly the ring position, uh, the foot should be actually contacting the head. And you can see that there's quite a bit of distance between the foot and the head. She may not receive credit for that. Now, from an artistry standpoint, that might be a very different matter. It's going to be a compelling number. One can anticipate anyway. <laughs> but I mean, let's just stop and reflect on the fact that we are now surprised when Sofia Raffaelli, that's the moment that you were, one of the moments we were referring to. We are now, the world is almost surprised when Sofia Raffaelli doesn't come to a competition and win everything incredibly easily. That's a very big score, 33.65. So she has gone into the gold medal position, the artistry score higher, 8.4, and the difficulty, as we said, 17, and crucially for Raffaele, the difficulty is up by six tenths from qualification. So what she may have lost in terms of trying to execute some of those skills, she's picked up in actually getting them done.
But does it leave a gap for Stiliano Nikolova, who scored 34.75 as the top qualifier? was a cracking save again from Nikolova right towards the end of the routine. Stiliana Nikolova, Balkania. We've seen three quite remarkable sprints and recoveries from her at Stiliana these championships. A uh, trajectory uh, issue. It will uh, carry with it a lot of deductions. However, this has a difficulty score of 18 in qualification. And we've spoken before at these Grand championships about how when you execute a dynamic element with rotation, the key thing is to get hold of the apparatus at the end so you're given that difficulty credit. From an execution standpoint, one imagines that it will be lower than that of Sofia Raffaelli. What the difficulty score will be, will be interesting to look at. As dostlar, bizim gündastımız final şutu hazırlaşır. Ve Avrupa Şampiyonluğunda 8 en güçlü gündastlarsa düşen Zöhre indi. But she Metal is a remarkably resilient young athlete. En güçlüler sırasında gündastımız olması, Azerbaycan olması sizin de olmanız demekti ama sona gelen testlerimiz vacil değil. Biz hazırız bu karışlamaya gündastımızı. 33.35 she goes into the silver medal position higher difficulty than Sofia Raffaelli execution down a fraction the gap three tenths so it means it's Raffaelli Nikolova Bartholomeo and it's not going to be at the halfway mark and it's a ball shade and it's all over Zöhre Arabinova Azerbaijan Her big challengers, two of her big challengers. She's got other ones to come. Could she be one of them? Zora Agamirova of Azerbaijan in qualification 32.55, but in the all around final 31.3. Et la chaîne culpabilité, mais faut bien changer les idées. Pas trop quand même, sinon ça part vite dans la tête. Et c'est trop tard pour que ça s'arrête. C'est là que j'aimerais tout oublier. Du coup, j'ai parfois eu des pensées suicidaires, j'en suis peu fier. On croit parfois que c'est la seule manière de les faire taire. 
Well, whether she gets onto the podium or not, she left everything out there on the carpet, Blythe. Oh, that was fantastic. She doesn't speak much, but she makes a single gesture with her arm or with her hand, and she says volumes. But you're right, Ollie, noting the tidiness in execution, her pivots, her balances, her throws, her catches, everything was stellar. Absolutely no errors in trajectory. She's right where she needs to be. From an artistry point of view as well, the choreography really seemed to marry nicely together with the more technical aspects of the performance today. It's a routine where everything works. And look at the expression. Now, she may well not have quite the degree of difficulty of those leading gymnasts, but from an execution and artistry point of view, this is utterly competitive. Superb Fuete turns. Ukraine's Victoria Onoprienko. where she was 14th in the all-around competition. There was one catch where it looked as though the ball didn't quite sit right and had to be uh, untangled slightly, but around all of that was this thoroughly impressive display. Oh, she just 
exudes elegance and also power in her work. It's a wonderful combination. She's taken a real risk because this is a brand new routine with the ball. I don't believe she's performed it at any World Cups before this. And when you go out at a Continental Championship and do a routine that you haven't really tried and tested in a competitive setting, well, it can be very difficult. And potentially, that was one problem that we saw in the all-around final. This was the apparatus where things began to go wrong for her. But today, it was just very sharp, wasn't it? It really was. Her difficulty in qualification was 14.9. But it may well be that she's managed to uh, get a little more loaded into this routine when it comes to the apparatus final proper. That was the catch that looked as though there was maybe a slight readjustment, but if there was, it was successfully disguised and responded to. so slightly heavy on the landing of the second of those three illusion turns, too. 32.7 for Victoria Onoprienko. That has her in fourth position. Eight for execution, eight for artistry. Very close to getting on the podium. From Greece, Panayota Litra, the seventh best in qualification with a score of 31.6, but it wasn't as successful in the all around yesterday. Panayota Litra, the gymnast who achieved her country's Panayota best Litra, ever Greece. placing in a final when she was seventh with the clubs last year. Could she go even better this time? At just 16 years old, she has everything that she needs to be really successful at the international level. And it's only a matter of time before the world is really going to start taking notice of this young gymnast. Her work with the ball is smooth and fluid. The rolls, there's no bobbling of the apparatus. And she's one of those gymnasts who really makes you believe that the apparatus is an extension of her body. There's elegance there. Si tu viens, tu 
and there's a good helping of difficulty as well. It's not as high as some in this final, but she's also got time on her side, years to develop that. And the foundation, as said before, is just right there. Seventh place for Panayota Litra, 30.95. Please welcome Mariana Kalein, Bulgaria. One gymnast left to go. It happens to be the champion of Europe, both yesterday and last year in this final. Leading the way, Sofia Raffaelli, then Siliana Nikolova, then Zora Agamirova. Now to Boriana Kalein. In qualification, 33.25. That will give her the bronze. We have absolutely had a ball watching Boriana Kalein, Boriana Kalein at these championships. What a day she had yesterday securing the all-around title. And what choreography there is in this routine. Yes, I know we've got to talk about the fact that she's really wonderful at rhythmic gymnastics, etc., etc. But first and foremost, she is one of the greatest performers in the sport. She's such a chameleon and she loses herself completely in every character that she portrays. It's all the tiny little touches in her choreography that make it so enjoyable and these beautiful fuetes in the horizontal position. Absolutely masterful. So quick into the dynamic elements with rotation as well. And once again, the Puete is in passe position. So many of them. And then there's this brilliant sequence as well. If she doesn't win a competition, it won't be because of artistry. <laughs> she takes full advantage of her pivoting capability.
in qualification, her difficulty score was 17. Total 33.25. This time 32.3 for Bodiana Kalin. 16.1 difficulty down by 9 tenths. So one wonders if that might be something they elect to challenge for now. These are the results of the competition. Tebrikler Azerbaycan, tebrikler Kavandamızın medalı, hesabı artılır. Artık dört medalımız var. Zorbalı bir ceviz Safiye Rafael, İtalya Çetis Dünya Nikola, Balkeria ve Zöhra Abinova Azerbaycan. Ve öyle flaş olçularımızı çağırmak istedik. Algışlarınızla bu anda flaş olçularımız gelir. Zorak Akamurova was part of the Azerbaijan squad that went to the 2020 European Championships where they won a team bronze medal. But it was only for senior groups and junior individuals. Zorak Akamurova missed out on a team medal. She now has got a bronze medal and her first ever continental honours and she's done it in a place where she has literally dreamed of this moment in this place, in this building. Let's have a look back at how the medals were won and the bronze went to Zora Agamuva of Azerbaijan. Silver to Stiliana Nikolova of Bulgaria. Teşekkür ederiz. For the first time ever, an Italian is the European champion with the ball, and it is Sofia Raffaele. Palazzo Luigi, lad. Little Luigi. Still much more to come today. We have got the clubs at final. That's due to begin in just a couple of minutes time. And then it will be on to the ribbon competition shortly after that. So don't go too far away. The clubs final coming along in a couple of minutes.
Daria Varfolomeyev of Germany, the reigning world champion. And she was even better in the all-around final yesterday. Second best in the qualification process. The gymnast will go second to last, Boriana Kelly of Bulgaria. And for her, it was a particularly meaningful performance with the clubs. In the all-around final, in qualification, she scored 31.15, but in the all-around final, 32.9. A performance that put her on a pathway to European Championship stardom. Now then, I did wonder, and I'm sure many of you wondered, when the difficulty score of 16.1 came in for Boriana Kalein, whether that would be contested, and it is. So, the results of the ball final are provisional. We're waiting on an inquiry to be concluded by the superior jury. Just to remind you of how things look at the moment in the ball final, 32.85 for Agamurva in bronze. Boriana Kalin scored 32.3, so she needs a gain of over half a mark in order to get onto the podium. We'll see what the outcome is and update you just as soon as we know more. We cannot proceed with the competition until this inquiry has been scrutinised by the superior jury. So the club's final delayed for a moment or two, or three or four, depending on how long it takes for them to look at this. It's a big moment, though, particularly for Zola Agamirova, who is in the bronze medal position. A change of 0.6 would be a substantial change. We have had some significant changes, though. Oriana Kalin, for example, with her ribbon routine, did pick up 0.5. We had Margarita Kolosov, who picked up 0.5. We had that big change to Stiliana Nikolova's ribbon routine, where she gained seven tenths of a mark. So, there has been probably sufficient evidence of substantial change, particularly if you are Boriana Kalin, it's already happened to you once, to make it worth contesting this. to come today, the clubs and ribbon finals and also the single and mixed apparatus finals for groups. And all of that will draw to a close 
the European Championships of Rhythmic Gymnastics, the Baku 2023 Championships. Confirmation of a body difficulty inquiry submitted by Boriana Callen and her coaching team. Thirty-two point eight five is the place-holding mark for bronze at the moment. That's Zora Agamirova of Azerbaijan. So a nervous wait for all of those gymnasts, particularly Agamirova, who are in the top three. The results are provisional in the ball final. a change but it hasn't actually altered the standings so Boriana Kalin's score goes up to 32.6 the classified results in the ball competition at the European Championships for the first time ever Zora Agamirova of Azerbaijan wins a continental medal she takes bronze in the arena in which she quite literally grew up. Silva de Stigliana, Nikolova, and the gold medal to Sofia Raffaelli, the first Italian ever to accomplish that feat. That was a pretty nervous wait, one imagines, for Zora Agamirova. maybe for some of you watching as well. Now then, on to the next order of business, which is the club's final. And we'll get that started just as soon as possible. So more to come from Baku in just a moment. Hanımlar ve canımlar, yarışlarımıza devam edelim. Ferdi Gimnastlar'ın güzlerle final yarışlarını izleyeceğiz. Ladies and gentlemen, we continue with club's final of individual gymnasts. Please welcome the finalists.
are the contenders for the Daria club's title. Bartholomew, Why not start with the world champion, Zara Agamirova of Azerbaijan, the Islamic Solidarity Games champion. Victoria Onoprienko of Ukraine, club's finalist at the World Championships. Italy's Alexander Adjurjakalesi, Mediterranean Italy. Games all-around champion. Sofia Raffaelli of Italy, bronze medalist at the World Championships. Ekaterina Vidinieva of Slovenia, World Games bronze medalist. Bulgaria's Boriana Kalein, who already is the all-around champion from here. And uh, Paniota Litra of Greece, who won the club's bronze medal in Athens last year to announce her arrival on the international stage. What a great final this is poised to be. The nations of these European Championships, their flags are represented. Many did not make it through to the finals, but they've all played their part in entertaining us over the course of the last week. The finalists in the club's competition at the European Championships and we begin with the top qualifier and the reigning champion of the world, Daria Varfolomeyev of Germany. And she was even better in the all-around final than in the qualification process because one thing we know about Daria Varfolomeyev, give her a club's final and she'll turn up and go for it. A proven performer when there's something at stake. But what of the third strongest qualifier, Zora Agamirova? She goes right after her. And then later on, we have the second best in qualification, Boriana Kale. You're looking at the National Gymnastics Arena in Baku, Azerbaijan. And the last day of competition at these championships. The home crowd have already seen one of their gymnasts get an individual medal at the European Championships after the all-around bronze medal was won by their group. That was last night, late last night. The champion of the world with the clubs is Daria Bartholomew of Germany. She now looks to add a European crown to her collection. She was the best in qualification and even better in yesterday's all-around final. Now, if anyone has got some marks that they can sacrifice in a club's routine, it's Daniel Daniel Bartolome, Bartolome, Germany, the world champion. The drop may not be enormously drop, consequential. It was an, an out-of-nowhere drop, drop, not at the end of a big dynamic element with rotation. Yeah, with a little adjustment, probably That's all. Artın Avrupa Şampiyonatı'nda zorlanıyor. Cracking work. Bir medal var. Bir güç medal artık kazanıp ve medal sayılan problem. Azerbaycan kavanasının dört medalı var. Ve ben su alım var ki Azerbaycanlılarımızın küçük alım. dostlar yumruk için birleşme zamanıdır. Çok önemli final çıkışına başlayacak bir gelen sonra.
One of the unfortunate things from an artist Bizim standpoint is that he solo followed the club. Çünkü right Zöhra bize eşit moments of the routine and of course that could well impact upon the artistry score. There's a tempo change right there and it's the place where the routine really kind of takes flight. And to lose a club there. Unutmayın yes, ki yorgunluk up, çıkacak ama medal tarihte kalır. Ona göre güçümüzü seferberleme lazımdı. But that is incredibly agile. Still exceptional work with her. Avrupa Şampiyonası son final well. günü. Bugün son medallar sahibi tavacak. Ve kavandamız medal sayını atabilir. Bütün bayraklar dalga olmalıdı. The ring position throwing her head back. Dogma arenamızda en ucadan seslenen seda tabii ki Azerbaycan sedasıdır. From an artistry standpoint, it's just a lot of fun. Testlerimiz devam ettir ilk dostlar. Peter Çimpelat'ın bütün Avrupa'da izlenli, bütün Avrupa Azerbaycan'ın gücünü görür. Yılmazlarımıza testlerimizi izleyin. Dariyeva Fulumev 31.35. Yine testleriniz dostlar kalçaya devlet olun. And it is easy to see where Zahra Alavirova Azerbaycan It's nonetheless still a very good score Azerbaijan's Zora Agamirova competing with the clubs Once a while ago she was a freestyler Now she is a European Championship medalist Azerbaijan Zora Agamirova Azerbaijan on the day that she became a European Championship medalist in front of her fans She did a nice job of maintaining her concentration throughout and that can't have been easy considering the accomplishment that she has just had on one of her first big throws, though not this one. She had to stop and stand in place because of a trajectory error. And just kind of let the club drop into her hand. It's a nice way of minimizing the error, but it is probably going to affect her credibility. And that may well be a slightly degraded reaction as she left the carpet. This was the apparatus where, in the qualification, Ollie, you thought it was one of her career performances, and it was. It was brilliant. 
Her qualification score was 31.05, the third best in the all-around 31.65. That was the place where it's a subtle thing, like so many of these deductions that we talk about. But we are also playing a game that comes down to tenths and sometimes even hundredths of marks. Twenty nine point seven five as well as Agamin of a score. Second place at the moment. To a gymnast who competed in the club's final at the last World Championships. Ukraine's Victoria Onoprienko, having already taken a European title today with the hoop. For a very, very long time, her best ever international result was with the club in 2019 in World Cup competition. Since then, she has just started to win and win and win. And the crowning glory, today's European hoop title. This, another tremendous Victoria Onoprienko performance. Every time you see her, she is a little better, a little sharper. And she really mastered this routine. It corresponds so perfectly. The music and the movement and the difficulty is baked in seamlessly. Steady fuete pivots. If you're a judge, you might question whether she is hopping around a little bit on her bottom foot. And if she is, you could count each of those fuetes not as a series, but rather as single elements. And that could affect her difficulty. Of course, it is at the judge's discretion. But one might suggest she hasn't given the judges too many areas to focus upon in terms of their execution deductions. The rest of this display, I mean, her remarkable agility bending into that position has always been one of her great strengths. Absolutely right. And that's important to mention because, yes, there is potentially with the Fuetes a small amount to take, but not a great amount for anything else. She's gone into the gold medal position with 31.65. Victoria Onoprienka has moved beyond the reigning world champion.
Remarkable. Italy's Alexandra Agiorgio Calesi, who has enjoyed a somewhat triumphant return, shall we say, to these championships. Whatever happens today, Alexandra Agiorgio Calesi is a legacy creator for Italian gymnastics. She won the first individual world championship medal for 27 years in 2018. Then she became the first to win an all-around and apparatus medal in World Cup competition. Quite simply, those that came after looked at her and said, we will follow her. And she is a gymnast who is still evolving. She's still quite young. She's extraordinarily experienced. She has been to world championships. She's won world medals. She's been to the Olympic Games. And yet she feels, and she's really showed us this week, that she still has more to give. Conceptually, her routines are works of art. And she's got some of the most spectacular inventiveness of any gymnast that we've seen this week. qualification, what happens when this routine goes well. And indeed in the all-around final where she produced an even stronger performance. This occasion 26.4 for Alexandra Adjurja Kalesi is in fourth place at the halfway mark. At the moment, it is Victoria Onoprienko who leads, ahead of Daria Vapolomeyev and Zola Agamirova. We now have Sofia Raffaelli. Now, which routine do we see? The one that scored 30.75 in qualification, the fourth best, or the one that scored 32.35 in the all-around final, or something in between? <laughs> T'as même voulu te faire ma mère, hein? T'as commencé par ses seins. Et puis du poumon à mon père, tu t'en souviens? Yeah. 
Gymnast who finished third at the World Championship of the club, Sofia Raffaelli of Italy, and who won the World Games title a few months before in Alabama. She is also the reigning European champion. Suffice to say, her track record with this apparatus is excellent, as is her work. This was a very, very good routine, especially considering the problems that she had in the qualification round. No question that she is world class with the clubs. When you can have problems in the qualification round and still finish fourth, that's indicative of what your maximum level truly is. And hers is huge. And it's actually part of elite sports that you cannot always win by being at your absolute finest. You can't be, even at a competition like this, perfect the whole way through. What you can do is still remain in a winning position when you're not quite at your maximum level. That's something she's demonstrated an ability to do. It's what all of the top gymnasts can do. They can get through those little bumps in the road. She's been very perseverant this week. She has come out and every time she has done a routine, it has been like a new day for her. She doesn't look that she, like she's been phased by what has come before. It's a superb mark of 33 for Sofia Raffaelli of Italy. She goes comfortably into the gold medal position. And that means that Zola Agamilova moved down to fourth place. So 31.35 is the number required to get onto the podium. We have three gymnasts left. Katarina Vedenieva of Slovenia scored 31.25 in the all-around final, so just a tenth below the current bronze medal mark. She scored 30.2, much lower in qualification. Nonetheless, she's here, and she's a World Games bronze medalist.
That was so well performed by Ekaterina Vidinieva of Slovenia. Goodness, the sharpness of that display. One imagines from an execution standpoint, that is going to do very nicely indeed. And she usually does well from an execution and from an artistry standpoint. She's a gymnast who is so consistent. She doesn't make too many errors, particularly in finals. She seems to understand very well the difference between a qualification and a final and often gives a little something extra, you get the sense, in the final. This is really quality work. Of course, she is a trailblazer for Slovenia in terms of her results, but also just in terms of her presence on the international scene. And the uh, choice of orchestration by uh, Helena Blagne, a Slovenian singer from Jesenice. And it's a really suitable piece of orchestration for a gymnast who, as the years have gone on, has actually moved away from the very classical work that we used to see her perform to. Lots of her routines a few years ago were to very uh, stereotypically rhythmic gymnastics music, and she's rather reinvented herself. The outcome is that she is in second place. Ekaterina Vedinieva, who has never won the European Championship medal. Nor has her nation. Sofia Rafaeli, Ekaterina Vedinieva, and Victoria Onoprienko. Believe it or not, the world champion is not getting on this European podium. Now to Boriana Kalain. Second best in qualification, 31.15, but 32.9 yesterday to take the all-around European title. Oh my goodness me! What a piece of rhythmic gymnastics, what a piece of art. What a competition for Body Anna Calais. By the way, it may be time to pre-order your noise-cancelling headphones for when she performs that in Spain at the World Championships in a few months' time. Oh, that was blazing. Everything was so sharp. She is always phenomenal with the pivots, but this time somehow the combination of the music and the choreography and the way that she executed them, well, there was something extra. Here she goes, passing in and out of the passe position. And look at her releve. She puts her heel down and they the foot stays in the same place. The same thing, the 
Fuete pivots with the leg at horizontal. It's important to keep the angle at 90 degrees. This, from an artistry perspective, is nothing short of stunning. It's sensational. The last time that a gymnast from Bulgaria won the European Championship title with the clubs, Ronald Reagan was the president of the United States of America. 35 years. And given how artistic her routines are, it might not surprise you to learn that she is quite interested in fine arts herself. She draws and she paints and she hopes one day to organize an exhibition of her work in Sofia. Very close, 32.45 for Boriana Kalain. She's in the silver medal position, and that means that we have Sofia Raffaele. Boriana Kalin and Yekaterina oui. Vedenieva. Those are your top three. Can this gymnast make a remarkable case for themselves to be on the European podium? Is Panayota Litra of Greece. This is very much her signature apparatus. She only just made it into the club's final but it was better, much better in the all-around. Panayota Litra and the clubs. It is a wonderful, harmonious relationship. She is so good with this apparatus. The gymnast who won the first ever Greek World Cup medal in Athens last year. And we're so used to seeing her now in a club's final at continental level. That's two years in a row. We are. And when you consider that she got into this final, having made a significant error in the qualification, it just tells you how good she is with this apparatus. This is a wonderful routine. It flows really well, and her wrists are extraordinary. She is always moving the clubs, always doing something, and yet always completely in control.
have an inquiry for Oriana Calais at clubs. Score of 32.45, body difficulty inquiry. Once again, we are awaiting the outcome of a Boriana Kalein based inquiry. How close is Paniota Litra going to get? She scored 29.85 in qualification, 30.85 in the all around final. Certainly this one more like what we saw in the all-around competition than what we saw in the qualification phase. There was one tiny trajectory error on a throw and catch, but when you take into account the overall routine that she performed, it was really good. That Athens World Cup last year was the first competition in Greece for 15 years. It announced her as a real contender at international level, not just domestically. Although certainly it made her something uh, close to a household name in Greece. Mariana Kalein challenging. The body difficulty of her score. And she was successful with her challenge in the ball final, albeit without actually altering the rankings. 33 is the leading score, that's Sofia Raffaelli. We have Yekaterina Vedinieva on 31.7. Just five hundreds beyond Victoria on Oprienko. And if Ekaterina Vedenieva manages to win a medal, it will not only be her first European Championship honours, but the first ever for Slovenia. And it's a bright squad that Slovenia has brought here as well. The next generation coming through very impressive. Well, we have uh, a song being played right now that should be renamed a Beautiful Inquirer. <laughs> work today this gentleman's family will ask him <laughs> oh it's fine anything happen oh, nothing unusual you sure we were watching on tv oh there was a giant monkey involved let's not talk about it
this is a very anxious moment for Panayota Litra, waiting and waiting and waiting for her score to come in. We have the inquiry for Boriana Calais still in progress. Just to remind you that her score, 32.45, is what's being challenged. And at the moment, the podium places are Rafaeli Kalin and Vedenieva. 33, 32.45 and 31.7 respectively. And we have also to come the uh, ribbon go. competition. Her new score, 32.65. Oh. 32.65, a small change, an increase of two tenths to Bonnie McCallan's score. It doesn't change the rankings, it just shores up her position in second that little bit more. Still Raffaele. Then Calais, then Vedenieva with one score to come in. The best ever placement by a Greek individual gymnast in a European final was her own seventh place last year. Not anymore, she's beaten it. 31.1, Panayota Litra of Greece has got one place beyond where she finished a year ago in Tel Aviv. The classified results in the club's competition. The bronze medal to Yekaterina Vedinieva of Slovenia. Her nation first ever at the European Championships. Silver to Bulgaria's Boliana Calais. And the title, the second title of the day, won by Sofia Raffaelli of Italy. She has defended her European title from a year ago. It will be the ribbon final in just a short while. Don't show up. Back at how the medals were won. Bronze to Yekaterina Vidinieva of Slovenia. Silver medal won by Bulgaria's Bodiana Calais. And the gold medal and the title of European champion for the second year in a row to Italy, Sofia Raffaelli. Teşekkür ederiz.
to money. They gotta never settle. This view is so much better. I'm chilling, I'm winning, like on another level. Oh, you can talk all you want. See me as a prayer, nothing I'm afraid of. And I can have it all. Five, four, three, two, one. Let go! Drop like way. Oh. Team love don't want no hate. Nope. I'm grinding, oh. I'm shining. Oh. Up, up, I'm on my way. Hey. They gotta never settle. Oh. This view is so much better. I'm chill. Hanımlar ve canımlar, yarışlarımıza devam edelim. Ferdi Gimnaslar, Lentle final yarışlarını izleyeceğiz. We have one more individual final, and it's coming right up. Welcome the finalists. From Israel, Adi Katz, bronze medalist Milena of the last European Balasari, Championships. Italy. Milena Baldassari of Italy, Milena silver Milena medalist Milena at the World Championships. Ekaterina Vadinieva of Slovenia, Bulgaria. bronze medalist at the last World Championships. Siliana Nikolaeva of Bulgaria, Milena. silver Israel. medalist at the last World Championships. Daniela Munitz of Israel, Brezaliva, the reigning junior Bulgaria. European champion. Eva Brezalieva of Daria Bulgaria, Bartolomi, the uh, medalist Germany. at the Baku World Cup. Earlier this Victoria year, Daria Bartholomew of Germany, Thank the you, gymnast who won ribbon honours in her first ever World Cup event, springboarding her to great success. And Victoria Onoprienka of Ukraine, the World Games bronze medalist with the ribbon. Great field of experienced ribbon competitors. The finalists in the ribbon competition, the top performer in qualification, Victoria Onoprienko, and she will go last of all. Right after Daria Vofolomeyev, who was the second best in qualification, and the third best was Ekaterina Vedinieva, who's just won a bronze medal and will go third in the order here. Let's welcome the first finalist with ribbon representing Israel, Adi Asia Kat. We begin the ribbon final with the bronze medalist from the last European Championships in Tel Aviv. Adi Asia Katz, she came third in her home city. Now in Baku, she aims for something similar or even better. Fifth best in qualifying.
More and more conversations need to be had about Adi Katz of Israel because more and more she is looking likely to challenge for and eventually start winning major honours. There is an artist emerging here. She has always been technically excellent. She has always had great execution. But here we see passion, we see feeling, and you are still thinking about it five minutes later in both of the routines that she has done today. There has been an expression that has leveled up a bit. We've known her internationally as a real force with the ribbon for some time since she took a silver medal at the inaugural Junior World Championships in 2019. Going quest for the score for Adi Katz. It is 28.1. So that is up from the all around final, but down by the best part of three marks from qualification. Please welcome Milena Baldassari, Italy. to a gymnast who made the most of their one opportunity in qualification. Italy's Milena Baldassari only performed with the ribbon in the qualification campaign, and she made it into the final with a score of 30.5, the seventh best, a world championship medalist from 2018. Je suis pas tout seul à être tout seul Ça fait déjà ça de moins dans la tête Et si je comptais combien on est Pas trop quand même C'est pas on sait qu'ils lui font vivre en enfer Sinon ça repart vite dans la tête Et c'est trop tard pour que ça s'arrête C'est là que j'aimerais tout oublier Du coup 
J'ai parfois eu des pensées sur une manière de les faire taire. Ces pensées qui me font vivre un fait. Ces pensées qui me font vivre un fait. Two gymnasts in this final only performed with the ribbon in qualification. It is an awful lot of expectation to put onto one routine. Just to confirm a change to the score for Adi Katz, 28.7 is the number. And we look back at this lovely display from Milena Baldassari. Is it any surprise that she wants to be an actress? She is so theatrical in her execution of her performances with the ribbon she performs to the Belgian chanteur Strome, who's a particular favorite among elite rhythmic gymnasts. With her intention to study theater or cinematography at uh, university, and Paulina Berezina, having a degree in audiovisual communication. I'm rather waiting for the first collaborative project between the two of them with Berezina directing. <laughs> and Baldessari starring. She herself has noted that sometimes at the beginning of the season, she is something of a slow starter. And so she has opted to perform only with the ribbon here but she did her job and made it into this final. And we can expect much more from her as the year goes on. She was sixth in the ribbon final at the World Games last year. And was sixth in the all-around competition at the Olympic Games in Tokyo, Italy's best ever finish. Given what she has presented here, she's off to a quite good start in the 2023 campaign. athletes out there who began their career before moving to Olympic gymnastics in competitive swimming. Very unusual start. But following in the footsteps of her mother, who was an international swimmer. And she did say that one of the real problems with swimming was that she would finish so far ahead of all of the other children that she got bored waiting for them to finish. If boredom is an issue for her, she must have been very bored waiting to actually take to the competition floor. Today is the last final. Not having participated in the all-around competition either. But this is a gymnast who's turned up ready for it. Can be very strange things, ribbon finals. Often quite nervous. Always spellbinding to watch, though. She does have nice pattern work with the apparatus. That's been one of the hallmarks of her career. Well, 
69.45 for Milena Baldassari, so she goes into the lead. It is down by just over a mark from qualification. The gymnast who finished third in qualification and who was third at the World Championships with this apparatus in Sofia last year. Katerina Vedinieva, her score in qualification, 31.15. She is absolutely one of the finest in the world with this apparatus. Always in the frame in a ribbon final, Yekaterina Vedenieva of Slovenia. Just works so terrifically with this apparatus. She turns 29 next month. She's already won her first honours at continental level today. Will she get even more? Shine like a star, the theme of this European Championships. And we have been treated to a celestial performance with the ribbon, as always, from Yekaterina Vedinieva. She displays all kinds of different shapes with her spirals. It's not just the spirals and snakes that we see quite a lot of. There's the swordsman. And there's a lot of big, expressive work as well. She also turns the simpler elements into something really gorgeous, whether it's a body wave or a simple kick and attitude devant. And this, of course, one of the signatures of her gymnastics, the attitude derriere pivot, combined with a fouette just for good measure and a little bit extra difficulty. Again, from an execution standpoint, it is getting close to watertight.
score is in. It's 30.7 for Yekaterina Vedenieva. Difficulty down by seven tenths from qualification. But she is in the lead after three competitors. Now, what will we see here from Stiliana Nikolova of Bulgaria? 30.4 in qualification, 27.75 in the all-around final. It was here that she had some real problems, but she won the silver medal with the ribbon at the last World Championships. People wondered, could Stiliana Nikolova do it? But whether it's at the Moulin Rouge, the Folie Berger, or on the Baku Boulevard, she can, can, can. There it is. That is the routine that she is capable of with the ribbon. We have been waiting all week to see it. And while she has performed brilliantly throughout much of it, the two times that she's done it here, she has never gone all the way to her capability. She's never maximized it, but she just did. Every single element, whether it is the penche pivot, whether it is the leaps, whether it is the turns, here's her excellent side scale pivot without help. And it may be because things were so much more secure technically, but from an artistic standpoint, it looked to be the performance with the greatest conviction that we've seen from her with this routine. She really has got that uh, rather frivolous and playful quality of the uh, fin de siècle French society of, of Paris at the left bank of the Seine, the Folie Bergère. It works, doesn't it? The zeitgeist is captured beautifully. Oh, it does. And there's that wonderful moment where she actually takes the stick of the ribbon in her mouth and waves the ribbon that way. And it is something you think Oh, you might have seen something like that at the Folie Berger during that time. It coordinates perfectly. But to continue with the uh, Parisian cabaret analogy, these weren't just places of fun and frivolity. They were places where the great new artists of the world met and refined their craft and changed how things were done. She is one of the ones doing it. She's gone into the lead. Stiliana Nikolova, 31.55. Welcome, Daniela Williams. That was anything but folly. In Tel Aviv a year ago, 
this gymnast won the junior European Championship title with the ribbon. Now Daniela Munitz looks to make her mark on the senior stage. She was the sixth best in qualification with a score of 30.8. of that routine. Daniela Munitz of Israel comes into this final as the junior European champion. Very often people come in with maybe some difficulty to develop over the years, but she actually had the second highest difficulty score of any of the qualifiers for this final at 15.3. That's a very good sign for the future. And there is something of a tradition in Israeli rhythmic gymnastics now where a young competitor emerges with really eye-popping difficulty, develops the artistry and the execution slightly later on, and goes on to accomplish extraordinary things. I can't think of anyone off the top of my head, but... Uh, <laughs> the name that yes, sort of exactly. you. But it, you're right, there is a, a certain trend, and we see it in different nations that do things different ways. Some nations like to build the fundamentals very, very slowly and then add the difficulty later. Some like to refine the execution later. Whatever way works, if it works, it works, and clearly in Israeli uh, rhythmic gymnastics it is working. It is clear that Daniela Munitz has got a bright future. The signs for her are extremely promising. I have a pen. I have a pen. Oh, and really, in each of her routines, I have you apple. see these flashes of apple. absolute brilliance. Oh, apple pineapple. Long the artistry, man. it is still emerging. But it will come. Oh, pineapple, apple pen. Daniela Munitz, 28.65. She's in fifth position. 
three to go. The last three in individual competition at these European Championships of Rhythmic Gymnastics. Another gymnast who only performed with one apparatus in the preliminary round. She did a stellar job. 18-year-old Eva Brezalieva of Bulgaria scored 31. It was good enough for fourth place. And she has already won World Cup medals with this piece. I think it's safe to say it was worth the wait. Eva Berzalieva of Bulgaria, the childhood best pal of Stiliana Nikolova. They shared a room together at the National Training Center. She performs with her in this European Championship final. Great display. She lights up the carpet, doesn't she? I think that's absolutely correct. And she's done really well in World Cup competition this season. She took the silver medal in this arena at the World Cup event last month. And sometimes when good memories of a place endure, it can help the next time you perform there. She has been a junior European champion, Eva Brezelieva. She won't repeat that feat at senior level because she won it with the rope. This continued apparatus for seniors. It's a routine with a great kind of dance party quality. We saw something similar from her teammate Katrin Tasova, who is now retired. She was a, an Olympian in 2020. And really did great things with this style of work. It's nice to see Rezalieva continuing on that tradition. Truly an extraordinary young generation of gymnasts coming through from Bulgaria. When you think that we had her, Nikolova, 
at the junior circuit and also you had uh, the group who've now gone on to do great things she's always joked that her goal in life is to beat Stiliana Nikolova oh she's done it there 31.6 she's gone into the gold medal position just ahead of her childhood best pal at the European Championships well she may have said it in jest, but it's happened in reality. But there's Alieva, then Nick Oliver, two to go. Here's Daria Vafolomeyev. Second best in qualification. Daria Varfolomeyev brings to a close her championships with this bold and aggressive display with the ribbon. It's such an impressive gymnast that we are watching and such an impressive routine. She was fourth in the all-around competition. Will she be on the podium here? Bold, aggressive and very clean. This was impeccably delivered. This is a routine that she's growing into. It's something of a departure in style for her with the ball and with the clubs. We see her quirky qualities on display. This is a far more dramatic and epic piece of music. And it's got these touches of softness and delicacy as well. And she brings it all out. Immense versatility that we're seeing from an athlete who's still only 16. And of course, the difficulty is never far away when you're talking about Daria Varfolomeyev. This was lovely. There's no question that this is a routine that is more like what we saw in the all-around final than in qualification, where she was a little better. The score for a new leader, 32.25 for Daria Varfolomeyev. The German goes into the gold medal position with one to go. She'll win at least a silver medal. And that will be for her her best European Championship finish to date. She's already had her best European Championship finish to date here in Baku. Now to the top performer in qualification, Victoria Onoprienko of Ukraine. She scored 32.05 in the preliminary round.
in such a strong field and such a Victoria quality final. Ukraine. Maybe that little loss of the apparatus rules her out of a place on the podium. But what is absolutely clear is that we have seen at these championships a Victoria Onoprienko who has proven she can win continental titles. That will do her confidence the world of good. Oh, yes. Her career will always have a special association with this apparatus. When she was a very young child, she had been doing figure skating, and actually the coldness of the rinks had made her rather ill, and she was taken by her parents to see the Derejina Cup, a very prestigious rhythmic gymnastics competition in Kyiv. And when she entered the arena, the first thing that she saw were gymnasts working with the ribbon. And she turned to her parents and she said, that's what I want to do. And at the 1978 European Rhythmic Gymnastics Championships, the silver medal, Irina Derejina. It's a delightful routine, regardless of the drop. So original in its orchestration. Often we get something soft and elegant, but she proves that you can do something totally different, very contemporary, and it just utterly works. Beautiful swordsman swirl as well. It's another of those displays with her where one suspects or probably can bank on the artistry score being really very healthy. You are a European champion as of today. The score no change to the score of Eva Brezalieva. And therefore, this is the last number to come in. At the moment, it is Varfolomeyev, Brezalieva, Nikolova, one, two, and three. Daria Varfolomeyev is already guaranteed to be the first German gymnast ever to win a medal with the ribbon at the European Championships. She might well be their first champion. The score is 29 for Victoria Onoprienko of Ukraine. The score for Victoria on a break is 21. All of that means that we can bring you another history-making moment at these championships. In the ribbon competition, bronze to Stiliana Nikolova and silver to Eva Brezelieva, both of Bulgaria, but for the first time in the history of the Rhythmic Gymnastics European Championships, a German gymnast is the champion, not just in the ribbon, in anything. Daria Varfolomeyev. Another famous first in Baku. Daria Varfolomeyev making history for her nation. The silver medal. That would have been the best ever performance by any German gymnast. So the fact that she was able to go all the way to the top, having been second best in qualification, even sweeter. Let's look back at the medalists. We'll start with the bronze medal being won by Stiliana Nikolova of Bulgaria. Silver, 
to Eva Brezalieva. The title won for the first time ever by a German gymnast in any discipline at the European Championships of Rhythmic Gymnastics. It's Daria Vafolomeyev. And we proceed to a word ceremony. Please welcome the medalists. It's now time for the victory ceremony in the hoop competition at the European Championships of Rhythmic Gymnastics. Bədii gimnastikası 39. Avropa Championatında perdi gimnastların halkı ile finalda mükadlandırılmasına başlayalım. Award ceremony for senior individual hoop final, third place and bronze medalist, Boriana Kalein, Bulgaria. Having won team and all-around gold, Boriana Kalein takes the bronze medal with the hoop. Adi Asya Katz, Israel. A best ever finish for Adi Katz at the European Championships Gold to add to the three bronze medals she champion, already holds. Victoria Anoprienko, Ukraine. A first ever international title the medals for are Victoria Anoprienko of Edward Ukraine. Kohler, she is Vice now a continental gymnastics. champion. Nirvana She's had great Nirvana success. Nirvana. In Second World Cup competition, she stood in the center spot on World Cup podia, but Vice this is a new level. Against a backdrop that only she can possibly understand, she has proven her remarkable resilience and her quality as a European champion Ladies in rhythmic gymnastics. We'll now hear the national anthem the of national Ukraine. Anthem of Ukraine. Tebrik edirik. The medalists in the hoop competition at the European Championships of Baku in 2023. ceremonies for that matter. The victory ceremony for the individual final with the ball. Bədi gimnastikası 39-cu Avropa Çempiyatı və Fədi gimnastların topla finalda çıxılarına görə mükafandırmaya başlayırıq. Award ceremony for Sini individual ball final. Third place and bronze medalist. Üçüncü yıl ve bürüz medalçı Zöhra Alamirova, Azerbaycan. How long she has waited for this moment to come. Second place, the bronze medal with the ball. Diliana Nikolova, Bulgaria. The promising Stiliana Nikolova of Bulgaria. The European champion, Sofia Raffaele, Italy. And with the gold medal, the first Italian woman to win a European the title, Sofia Raffaelli of Italy. Vice President of European Gymnastics, 
Nurlana Mehmetzada, Secretary General of Azerbaijan Gymnastics Federation, Altai Hasanov, Vice President of Azerbaijan Gymnastics it's Federation. An extraordinary moment for Zora Agamirova, as it is for her fellow medalists on a historic day in Baku. Please stand and show your respect for the national anthem of Italy. And now, the national anthem of Italy. Tebrik edirik. The medalists with the ball at the European Championships of 2023. Gold to Sofia Raffaele of Italy. Silver to Stiliana Nikolova of Bulgaria. Bronze to Zora Agamirova of Azerbaijan. Celebrations. The victory ceremony for the club's competition at the Baku 2023 European Championships of Rhythmic Gymnastics. Ben ikimiz kızı 39. Avrupa Şampiyonatında Ferdi Kılmaz'tanın düzlerle finalda çıkışlarına göre mücadelelendirmeye başlayır. Award ceremony for senior individual clubs final. Third place and bronze medalist Ekaterina Vidaneva, Slovenia. She keeps doing that which no Slovenian has ever done before. Yekaterina Vidaneva takes her nation's first ever medal Boriana at the Kalein, European Bulgaria. Championships. The silver medal is won by Bulgaria's Boriana Kalein. And European champion Sofia Raffaele, Italy. It is Sofia Raffaele of Italy who makes it two gold medals the in medals one day. The medals are presented by Edward Kohler, Vice a President of A fantastic accomplishment for Raffaele, retaining Manasada, and defending her title General from Tel Aviv one year ago. Altai Hassana, Vice Different stages of their careers, all of them. Federation. All of them with their own story, all of it involving this chapter on a continental Ladies podium. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand and show the your respect for Italy. the national anthem of Italy. Tebrik edirik. Congratulations. 
the medalists in the club's competition of the Baku 2023 European Championships. One more presentation remains. Ferdi Gilmaz kızı 39. Avrupa Şampiyonatında Ferdi Gilmaz'dan lentle final açışlarına göre mükadlandırmaya başlayır. Award ceremony for senior individual ribbon final, third place and bronze medalist Stiliana Nikolova, Bulgaria. The bronze medal to a beaming Stiliana Nikolova of Second Bulgaria. Second place and silver medalist Eva Brezalieva, Bulgaria. She did one routine. One apparatus at this Gold competition, but she made it count. Eva Brezhnev of Dania Bulgaria, Bartolome, the silver medalist. Germany, and at long last, a European title the for Germany, courtesy of Daria Varfolomeyev, vice president of European gymnastics, Nurlana Mehmetzade, secretary general of Azerbaijan Gymnastics Federation, Altai Hasanov. Vice President of Azerbaijan it Gymnastics Federation. It is a historic Federation. result for Daria Varfolomeyev and for her country with the ribbon. Ladies and gentlemen, and now please the stand anthem and show your of Germany. For the national anthem of Germany. Tebrik ederik. Congratulations. The medalists with the ribbon at this 39th European Rhythmic Gymnastics Championships. Gold to Daria Varfolomeyev of Germany. Silver to Eva Brezelieva of Bulgaria. Bronze to Stiliana Nikolova, also of Bulgaria.